You're watching the Arsenal Vodcast. Arsenal's title challenge is over after a 3-1 defeat at Stoke and Arsene Wenger admits that his team were well below par. We were not uh, competitive enough, uh, beaten uh, too many, in too many challenges and uh, especially from the first minute on we tried to respond in the second half but overall I feel uh, we didn't play uh, with enough drive going forward and uh, we caught on uh, very, very uh, big mistakes. Bakri Sanya echoed his manager's views after Sunday's game and he knows that Arsenal must bounce back quickly if they want to secure a third place finish. Yeah, of course, we know we will fight until the end. You know, tonight, today we, we lost. It's a big disappointment, but we are another, another game at home. It's Aston Villa, it will be the, the last game of the season at home and we want to win, of course. Every week on Fans From Afar, we meet up with gunners from across the globe to talk about their passion for the men in red and white. This week, we caught up with Mika Campbell to find out about the Arsenal Supporters Club in Japan and how she became such a passionate Guna. I live very near to the old ground, Hungary, and that's how I became interested in Arsenal. And uh, actually, my husband doesn't like football, but he's the one who took me to Highbury. I think it was 1990, um, just after uh, Arsenal won the league, and uh, it was, you know, just English supporters at that time. But um, they were so friendly to me, and lots of people started talking to me. It's not like outside, you know, the street, but in Highbury, always people say like, "Where are you from? Why do you support Arsenal?" And some people used to say, "Thank you," even, and um, it was really nice. And I really felt, you know, as like a family. Welcomed into the club with open arms, Mika's passion grew. First under George Graham, then Bruce Rioch, and finally Arsene Wenger. But unlike most schooners, Mika had some knowledge of the mysterious Frenchman before he arrived at Highbury in 1996. Obviously, Arsene Wenger was famous already before he came to England, and um, I think. Grandpa said, where you know, was the manager, um, they weren't really doing well. Lots of respect for Arsene Wenger, and um, I didn't know, but Dennis Bergkamp was really big already before he moved to uh, Arsenal, and so many um, people became Arsenal fans because of Dennis. Despite such fond memories of both Dennis and the boss, Mika's top Arsenal moment is one which predates both on a very nervy evening in Copenhagen. I think when we won the European Cup winners cup, to be honest. For me, it was a really big trophy at that time. I was so nervous. I, w I watched TV and um, I couldn't really breathe. And my hands were so cold, I couldn't breathe. And when we won the league, I just uh, ran outside the street and full of Arsenal fans are kissing each other. You know, it's like ordinary daily life. If I have something bad at work or, you know, argument with my family, still, if I think about Arsenal, I can forget everything. 